AZ, I want a $10 million a year. I want a $5 million a year. But when you really start looking at what they're distracted by, it's typically uh, looking at somebody else's business or looking at things out that don't necessarily improve his position within his family or his position within his own, their own enterprise. Welcome to another episode of Mindset Mastery. We are less than, what, 50 days to the end of the year. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for the opportunities that are before us. I'm excited for, you know, the, the agents that are really stepping up in this, you know, in this kind of difficult and, and unassuming market, right? A lot of people are taking their ease, thinking that, you know, things have hit already a peak of where what is possible for them. But yet I'm hearing other stories of the fourth quarter is going to be the absolute best for me. And, you know, that's the whole intention to be able to create momentum that regardless of what others are doing in the market, you are dialed in and you're focused. You're doing the things that you're supposed to do on a daily basis to allow it to grow. And, you know, this got me thinking about just an overall, uh, you know, topic. And I, and I named it, you know, get fat. Right. And it's not what you think uh, it is. It's it's really about staying focused and putting the necessary attention to uh, you know, the task at hand and, get, and allowing time to take its course. Um, you know, one of the things that I've noticed even in my own relationship uh, with Carla, you know, being married 20 years, it's, it's really easy to almost uh, feel entitled to certain things for, you know, to, to feel like things are always going to just go, be there, right? And, you know, my whole goal is to not only improve of what I'm doing, but to, to really be more intentional about everything that I do. And I've realized, like even last week, um, I don't know what it was. I, I think we both just didn't want to be around each other. <laughs> Come Wednesday and Thursday, we said very little. There wasn't a lot. There wasn't a lot of engagement, a lot of conversation, and it's almost like we had a chip on our shoulder, right? And every day that that ensued, it seemed like the chip got bigger and bigger, right? Where it was just like, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm almost holding some resentment towards you. Um, and then uh, we got to spend the entire day on Friday together. And it changed the entire dynamic of our weekend. And it got me thinking that, you know, if we don't put focus and attention into the things we desire and then allow time again to take its course, then it's always going to run into problems and issues, whatever it is. It could be in marriage and it also can be in business. I, I've seen that recently also with uh, some, some of our top producers where they were maybe doing very well towards the first three quarters and all of a sudden things are not where they need to be. And again, once you start looking at uh, how things are right now, the first things to, to really question yourself is, am I being focused on the tasks at hand? Am I, am I really being uh, putting the attention towards that? And oftentimes when you're in a place where you're not meeting up to the expectations you should be at, it's because, yes, you, you probably deviated from that. You probably stepped away from that and are not doing the things that are in, in correlation to the things that you do want. And, it, and it's funny, it's almost like a beautiful gift that we've been given. It's almost a blessing, right? Which is whatever we put our focus on, we're going to essentially create it. Now, there, there is a difference with that, though, because we will, we will create it, but now it's a matter of how big do you want it, right? How big of what you have your attention on do you want to make it or create it? Um, but with that being said, we also say certain, I, I've run into individuals and I've been that person myself where I've said many things of what I want, but my attention was completely somewhere else. And it reminds me of a story way back when, um, it was a old friend of mine. We, we haven't, you know, spoken here in the last few years, but I remember this, this one, uh, situation we were in. Um, we were out at this conference and, you know, he was talking to me really like genuinely about how, um, you know, his marriage wasn't where it needed to be. His relationship, he was struggling in his relationship um, and that, you know, he, he really admired what Carla and I have been creating, you know, on how we communicate and the time we spend together and things that we're doing. So he was giving me praise on one side and then he was telling me what his desires were. But what I think he didn't realize is, is where his focus and intention were at, right? He had the time. He's been, he'd been with his wife for 10 plus years. But it wasn't an intentional time, uh, time that he actually uh, spent with her, right? It was growing more apart. But one of the things that he was doing 
as as we were talking, where he was genuinely engaged, giving me praise, was he was actually getting distracted every time a woman would would walk by. Like almost, it, it didn't it didn't matter what woman it was. It was any woman, right? And he would just turn to one side, and he 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 would completely lose focus on what he was telling me. He was speaking a good game. I want this, Az. I want happiness. I want love. I want this. And then the next minute, like within the next second, he's looking at uh, another woman, right? So he was easily distracted. And these are the things that we have to pay attention to, okay? Because if he really wanted to create that type of, of um, a bond or that type of relationship, his focus would be on exactly that. How can I be there? Not being distracted at every minute. And this correlates very, very easily to business. You know, I, I feel like there's a lot of agents that are, that are saying, AZ, I want a $10 million a year. I want a $5 million a year. But when you really start looking at what they're distracted by, it's typically uh, looking at somebody else's business or looking at things out that don't necessarily improve his position within his family or his position within his own, their own enterprise. So these are the things that we have to almost audit and check ourselves. If we really desire those things, because it's only a matter of time, it's been promised. Like, again, that is the blessing we all have. Whatever we put our attention to, it's only a matter of time. But if it seems like it's always getting away from you, it's because you're saying one thing, but your attention is going in a dif different manner altogether. So these are the things, again, as you start, uh, as you start your day today and, and start preparing yourself of how you're going to end 2023 and prepare for 2024, audit your attention. Where is that going? Audit your focus. But at the moment you start aligning your attention with your desires, it's only a matter of time. So with that, like even look, look where you're at with, with marriage, with your business and start saying, okay, th these are the things that I truly desire. What is it going to take? So let's say you did hit a, a bump in the road, right? Things are not moving along as you would like them to. You're not getting the escrows. You don't have the leads. This is where you just take a small step back and say, okay, what are the things that I'm not doing? What are the things that I stopped focusing on? What are the things that I put less attention to? And then start spending time doing those things and you'll be surprised how easily you can build this back up. But it's, it's hard, right, when, you're, when you just sit back and think things are, are being done to you. Just align your desires with the actual focus and intention behind it. And these are things that, I, that I'm learning and, and learning to appreciate about our journey. Is that I, I understand that when something suffers within my life, it's because I just stopped being focused on it. But I know what to do. But the longer I'm oblivious to that, the, the bigger the consequences get. And listen, when you're facing the consequences of not having the deals in escrow, you're going to lose that certainty you work so hard to build. You're going to lose that confidence that you sacrificed so much to, to, to build. So these are things that we have to check as we're going into the slower time of the entire year. As we go through Thanksgiving and Christmas, in the industry overall, we're going we're gonna, to uh, uh, reduce production by 10 to 15%. So it's, it's going to be even less than what we've been selling. But during that time, there's also great players that emerge. Those individuals that just recalibrate and recommit to the things they must do. So you're going to have a lot of opportunities to be in front of people all around you. And if you're focused on the things you love doing, where it's not a burden, real estate is not a burden. Talking about real estate is not a chore. It's what you do. It's what you love doing. You're going to be in these positions to have these conversations, going in with the right attitude. Everyone, everyone desires better for their families. Your job is just to paint the possibility. But you can't do that if you're not focused and have the attention and put the time into developing how to be able to communicate that during these times. There's great opportunities there for, for all of us. And this is, again, if we're able to just focus on, on here over the next six to eight weeks, your 2024 will start off with a bang. The last thing you want to do is go into it with zeros. 
So right now is more urgent than ever to start putting those escrows in, okay? Do not throw away January and part of February. If you decide not to do the right things today, that's exactly what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be throwing those months away. And that $10 million year that you've been yearning for, that $30 million year you've been working so hard for, is gonna be pushed further back into the future. Okay, this is, this is where you start assessing your authority. You start auditing your actions. Where do I need to be more focused? Where do I need my attention? And just know that over time, that will grow into everything you do desire. I'm pumped up, I'm pumped up guys. Um, we pivoted on some things here within the organization, some of our coaching groups. And listen, I'm not afraid of the work. And I don't want you to be afraid of the work either. Listen, like whenever we desire more, understand that it's going to require more from you. Okay, and sometimes you have to voluntarily make it tough for yourself. The decisions I made over the weekend, I voluntarily made it tougher on myself because I'm committed to delivering. I'm committed to excellence. So I'm taking all this on knowing that I'm going to uh, provide a greater impact. So imagine if you go with that type of attitude to your clients, to your, the homeowners you know, to, your, uh, to your, the family and friends that uh, all, all around you with that same intention of improving their lives. You'll bring more on you, but you're up for the challenge, I promise. But today, if you're in the office, you'll, you'll notice my friend here, Andrew, he's all the way from, um, from uh, Florida, and he's here uh, just you know, being a, a really investing in himself. And I really appreciate that. It reminds me, you know, back in 2014, where um, actually 2013, it was uh, the two weeks before Christmas, where, you know, I, I just needed, I needed to see a different perspective. And my world just completely changed because I, I was willing to be a student when most people were shutting down. When most people would say, why would you travel anywhere two weeks before Christmas? That's what I was willing to do. So I appreciate him for coming out and, and being a student to that. But more importantly, I appreciate you for being here. So guys, take that with you, okay? Be focused and put the attention necessary to the things you desire. Thanks again for joining me for another episode of Mindset Mastery. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye now. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Badass Agents Podcast. Brought to you by AZ and Associates and Do The Work Coaching and Consulting. You can watch this and other episodes by subscribing to our channel on YouTube or by visiting us directly at badassagents.com. And of course, you can listen to this episode and many others on your preferred podcast provider.